Hello viewers, in this video let us learn about preparation of stock concentrations of various samples for colorimetric estimation or spectrophotometric estimation. So irrespective of any of these samples that I have written here, the preparation of stock concentration of various solutions remains the same. So all of these samples, whether it is DNA sample or RNA sample or sugar sample or protein sample, all of these samples will be available in the powdered form. The commercially available form of these samples are usually powder. So using that powder, how do we prepare the stock concentration is what we are going to learn. Say for example, I need a stock concentration of this sample for as 100 microgram per ml. But 1 ml of the sample is not enough for my complete experiment. So I will have to prepare more of its volume. Say for example, for my experiment, I need 100 ml of my stock concentration. So for this, how do I prepare? So in 1 ml, I should have 100 micrograms of sample, right? So in 100 micrograms of sample should be present in 1 ml. Then how much micrograms should be present in 100 ml is what I should be uh, finding out. So for this, what we have to do is cross multiplication. So if you see here, 100 microgram is present in 1 ml. That means how many micrograms should I add in 100 ml of uh, water is what I am going to find out. So 100 microgram, it's, it's a cross multiplication. You can see here it's a cross multiplication. 100 microgram into 100 ml divided by 1 ml is what I will be doing. So let us see how to perform this. 100 microgram into 100 ml is equal to 10,000 divided by 1, it remains 10,000. So 10,000 micrograms I should be adding in 100 ml of distilled water to get 100 microgram per ml of my stock concentration. Okay. Now, all our weighing balance will not have uh, to measure, it will not have a unit as microgram, it will usually have a unit as mg. The weighing balance will be always present in mg or in grams. So, let us convert this 10,000 uh, mu g or microgram into mg and grams. So, here you can see 1 gram is equal to 1000 mg. Likewise, 1 mg is equal to 1000 micrograms. Now you can see we have got 10,000 micrograms as answer. So, 10,000 micrograms is equal to how much mg we have to find out. How much mg it is we have to find out. So, if 1 mg is 1000 mu g then 10,000 mu g will be 10 mg. I hope you are understanding 10,000 mu g is equal to 10 mg. Okay. Now you can see here if 10 mg if 1 gram is 1000 mg, if 1000 mg is 1 gram, then 10 mg will be how many grams? It will be 0 0.01 grams. So like this, if you do. So if you take 0 0.01 grams in 100 ml of water, if you weigh 0 0.01 grams of these powder and dissolve it in 100 ml of water, then we will get 100 microgram per ml as the stock. I hope this video is helpful to all of you.